he's gonna see something now. I'm kinda tired. I think I'll go home now. What are we supposed to do now? like a Mongolia in the earth. Yeah. Basically, that's it. Yeah. You have the chimney in the, like in the middle, like Mongolia in the earth. Uh-huh. You see this guy? This. We're probably like trying to remember, like, wait, how did our ancestors used to do it? I think there was something in the middle, a fire. Right. And then the walls around. Right. What was the walls made out of? All right, we're going to work with this. Just be like, yeah. <laughs> This is actually nice, like... That one looks like the other one, but the other side. Oh, yeah, you're right. Right? They're pretty identical. It's like a weird hand where like, one is like this, the other <laughs> Right? <laughs> it's like uh, mittens. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. You've been here, maybe in person, but most certainly in imagination. You've been here as a child, you've been here on a horseback, you've been here slinging guns or dodging arrows. You've been here looking for Debbie. When you think of westerns, what do you think of? You think of this. This small patch of land, called Monument Valley, located on the Arizona-Utah border, became a symbol of American West. The person responsible is a guy that goes by the name John Ford. Your favorite director's favorite director. Master of masters. Arguably the greatest American film director ever lived. Well, I wouldn't say the best film. The films that have received more prominence, the films that received Academy Awards, but not, not Westerns. But I like to make Westerns because I get away from, you get away from Hollywood for a while, you get out in the wilds, you get fresh air in your lungs, you work hard, you sleep well at night, you're hungry, you have a good appetite, and you're working with nice people. Because these cowboys, these people who work in westerns, are wonderful, wonderful people. Eleven, take one. Take one? There's more, more than one take, will I? Shoot. Mr. Ford, you made a picture called Three Bad Men, which was a large-scale western, and you had a quite elaborate land rush in it. How did you shoot that? With a camera. <laughs> Mr. Ford, I've noticed that the uh, that your view of the West has become increasingly sad and melancholy over the years. Uh, I'm comparing, for instance, Wagon Master to the man who shot Liberty Valance. Have you been aware of that? Change no. in mood? No. Can I ask you what, what particular element about the Western appealed to you from the beginning? I wouldn't know. Do you agree that the point of uh, Fort Apache was that uh, tradition, the tradition of the army was more important than one individual? Cut. <laughs>